Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back. We have been harvesting like crazy in our garden. Our garden has had a tremendous amount of food for our family. So we have been working hard to harvest all of our food, figure out how we're gonna preserve it and keep it so that we can have a lot of it through the winter as well as enjoying it just now. So that's been taking up a lot of our time on top of our everyday everything that we have going on around here with the dogs and puppies. So this summer, unintentionally, we didn't have as many litters as we have in previous years. It's just the way things work out sometimes with the dogs. The girls don't go into heat when you think they're going to go into heat. They take a little longer and that's completely fine. They go in when they're healthy and when they're ready. But it's just the way things worked out with our dogs this year. We had our first litter of Welsh Springer Spaniels and then we had a litter of English just recently that just went home last week. So having had our first litter of Welsh Springer Spaniels and then a litter of English Springer Spaniels, it really brought to light a lot of differences between the two breeds and I thought it would be a good idea to do a 2.0 video or part 2 video on our Welsh Bee English to give you some more information that I've noticed uh, between the two litters, between the two breeds and also how these guys have grown up as well now that they're a little bit older I can see more differences between the two breeds and just talk a little bit more on that. So one of the differences that I've really noticed recently is just how more sensitive the Welsh are than the English, both physically and in their temperament. The physical aspect is they just don't like to rough house as much as the English. My adults don't play rough, not really with each other, They're, they do a little bit but nothing compared to the English. They don't wrestle with each other as much, they don't wrestle with the other dogs as much, they don't want to play physically as much. They will run and catch a ball. But they're not really ones that want to be hands-on compared to the English. Whereas the English, you can get them down on the ground, you can really rough them up a bit. And they play together, they're really rough together. They are physically mouthing each other, they are running and trying to catch each other. You see them trying to bite each other's legs when they're playing together. Um, but the Welsh really don't do that a whole lot. They're not really interested in being physical, physical with other dogs as much. Now they do socially interact with other dogs, don't get me wrong. They're just not as physical of a dog compared to the English. Awesome! Baby girl! So with the Welsh, they have more sensitive parts in their body. Now it's not that they're in pain or there's anything wrong, it's just there are certain parts of their body that you just have to be more gentle with. With the English, we've always been very hands-on with them, I'm very hands-on with my dogs, they're very physical with me, and so there's really no part of their body that they don't really like. But with the Welsh, I'm noticing that, they, that there are parts of their bodies that you just have to be more gentle with. They do have more sensitive areas, like down the back of their neck, around their legs, you just have to be more gentle with them physically compared to the English where you can just kind of rough, rough them up a bit more. I notice this a lot with the puppies as well. The, our English puppies, you know, we, we do a lot of handling with them. They're on their back and we're playing with them a lot. We rub their bellies and they love that. They really interact a lot. Whereas the Welsh, the, if you find that sensitive area with them, it really discourages them. So you have to be more gentle in your approach with the puppies as well. They also don't have that same personal bubble like the English. As you can see right now, Reina is an English Springer Spaniel. She is on my lap. This is typical for an English. They want to be on you. They want to be with you. And I've said this in my other videos. Whereas the Welsh is quite happy to sit next to you and run around. And they, I mean, they're definitely, they definitely like to be lap dogs and be on you but they're not quite as obsessive as being in your face like in English. So as 
something else I noticed with the Welsh is that they're they're extremely extremely smart but they are sensitive to nature as well they respond differently from the English when it comes to discipline they respond differently when it comes to correction their temperaments are a little bit different as well what I noticed a lot with the puppies and what I'm noticing with my adults is they're definitely more sensitive and a little bit more shyer in their temperaments compared to the English English are very very outgoing as I've talked about in a lot of my videos that they are very outgoing breed they're very in, in personal bubble the Welsh are definitely a shyer breed now that's not to say that they're timid it's but they're definitely a lot more cautious in their approach to people and they're definitely more more aware of their surroundings compared to the English. We do a lot of socialization with all of our puppies but I did recognize that the Welsh needed that little bit more prompting and encouragement to interact more with us. They respond differently when it comes to correction and discipline they're a lot more offended when you're firm with them compared to the English. Both breeds are very, very smart. They learn very, very quickly what they can and can't do. But the Welsh, they need a lot more positive reinforcement after a correction. So when you have corrected them and you've corrected their behavior, you want to bring them back when they do something good, really give them a lot more emphasis and praise. Ready. The English are very outgoing, very loving, people-pleasing dogs. They love everyone. There's never really a person they don't like. With the Welsh, they are a little bit more cautious. They stand off from the distance. They bark, they make their presence known, but they're a little bit shy. They need a little bit more encouragement interacting with people. Once they kind of get here, they're not overexcited about visitors, not overexcited about people they don't know. They love their families and they're very family oriented. Whereas with English, they really doesn't, it really doesn't matter who you are. Obviously they love their families, but they're very interactive and very confident dogs and they love other people too. They get along really, really well with other people and they're very outgoing. Whereas the Welsh just take a little bit more time with people that they don't know. So if you're not sure which breed would be better suited for you, look at it from this perspective. If you want a dog that is very loving, very affectionate, very much in your personal bubble, likes to play very rough and is more rougher in nature, then an English is probably the better choice for you. If you're looking for a dog that's more on guard, a little bit more independent, still very loving, still very affectionate, but just a little bit more standoffish with people that they don't really know that well, more gentle and a bit more sensitive, then the Welsh is the better choice for you. So this was just some more things that I noticed. I thought I'd make another video part two for you to give you some more information. If you're still on the fence trying to decide what is the better choice, do I go for an English or a Welsh? If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, Raina.